Welcome to the Houston DIY Bar. Today we're going to do a Ryobi tool unboxing. Okay, so obviously I do a lot of DIY around the house. Only a DIYer, no professional. Um, so I don't spend too much on tools. Uh, so I previously had uh, DeWalt tools. So I've got a 14.4 14, 14 volt um, impact driver and a 18 volt combi drill from DeWalt. Um, and I've always wanted to get an 18 volt um, impact driver because that sometimes struggles with certain stuff. It's only 14.4 volt. Uh, and I've seen the Ryobi tools and I always wondered if they'd be any good. So I took the plunge on Black Friday and got a couple of start kits. So I've got this this one, which is the combi drill, which comes with a, with a torch, and then the impact driver start kit. Uh, both come with batteries. And then as part of the Black Friday deal at Ryoba, they were doing a free second tool. So I went with um, an orbital sander, because my actual other orbital sander that I've had for a few years is broke, so I didn't need one. Um, and then I got a detail sander as well, a palm sander. Uh, so they came bare. Um, they looks like they come, come with some sanding pads, but they're bare with no batteries. Batteries are in them. So this video, we're going to unbox them, have a look at them, and perhaps test the 18 volt impact driver, see how, see how good that is. Okay, so first up we'll go with this, go with this um, impact driver starter kit. Um, I think it's called a starter kit because it comes with a battery. I think it comes with one battery, by the looks of it. So we'll unbox it, see what we get inside and have a look at the tool. Um, had a few issues getting these delivered for DPD because I think there's a bit of a backlog, but they eventually came. So nothing else in the box. Comes in this snazzy little bag. Let's have a look inside this. Packed out. The drill itself. A little instruction book. Padded out with a load of cardboard. So it comes with uh, this charger, battery charger. And by the looks of it, a battery. So we're thinking was to go with the new tool set with the one tool system from Ryobi. Read a lot about it online. A few people moan about it. It obviously is aimed at DIYers, hence the price of them. Um, and I am a DIYer. Um, but I like the idea of the one tool system so I can add other tools to it at a later date once I need other stuff. And got plenty here to be getting on with. So yeah, so it comes with a single lithium Two amp power, uh, two amp power battery, which obviously goes in there to charge. And then in here, we've got the impact driver. Okay, so I've not charged the battery for anything, but I just thought I'd plump it into the drill just to feel the weight of it. Um, compare it to my Dewalt, the Volt, Dewalt. It is bigger. It's a bit chunkier. There's a bit of charge in there. So just a few things I've spotted straight away. It's got obviously a place on magnet there. Uh, sorry, it's got a magnet there for holding screws, nails, probably screws. Um, and then a, a, a holder there for your drill bits or your impact driver bits. And it actually does come with three bits, which is quite good. I've not seen that before, to be fair. No. On the DeWalt stuff I bought before, it never came with anything like that. Um, so it comes with it looks like a hex pit, hex bit, a posi, uh, screwdriver bit, and then um, that's an extender to, to latch on to um, other other tools. Um, so I imagine it's the same, same kind of system, pull out, push in, and you're in. Um, it's got a torch at the front, which the difference is, which was actually quite good about the DeWalt, is when you press the DeWalt on, it actually leaves the light on for longer. It looks like the light only stays on this one, if you can see that, while you press the drill. Um, so I did used to like, still see it's on the DeWalt now. So I think you get like a 30 second light staying on that one there. So that doesn't do that. So that's maybe not a downside, but I did like the, the idea of the light on the DeWalt. And it's got the three, three bulbs as well. Okay, before we open the next tool, just to show you, I've just got the uh, extender bit there on the magnet. Holds it pretty well, give it a good shake, it's not going off. And that drill the bit there as well in that front compartment there. So that's holding that really secure. 
it takes quite a lot to knock that off. My DeWalt had it on the side, but what I found with that is, if you were like going into space, you could quite easily knock off your drill bits. Well, that's, I think that's a better placement to be fair. Keeps it tucked away. You probably, just, I don't think you'd knock it on that. So good, good design, good magnet. It's just a shame about the light, how it only stays on while you're drilling. Um, and I'm not so sure whether I prefer the light to be around like where the DeWalt, where you've got it around where the drill's coming from. But we'll see that in some testing the, as, as I start using the, the drill. Okay, moving on. I put that battery on to charge. You can see that flashing away. Now it's charging that battery. So we'll move on to this one now, uh, which is the, um, what's it actually called? Cordless Percussion Drill is its name, but it's a combi drill, I guess. And it comes with a free um, hand torch that obviously takes the, the one tool, the um, one tool battery. Um, this one comes with two batteries in the starter set. So we'll get this opened up and see what's included in the box. Okay, here we go. So I've just got rid of the cable tight. Jazzy bag again. So let's open it up. See what's inside. Get instructions in there. Nice the package and padded out with some cardboard. So we'll get rid of that cardboard. So there's the drill unit itself. There's that torch. And here we've got the one, two batteries in there. This also comes with a charger as well. So nothing else in that box. So drill unit, and it's got uh, a drill bit in there already. Two batteries, stopping with the same battery, the two amp power batteries, 18 volt charger. Um, slightly different style of charger actually. That actually pushes down on top of the battery, whereas that one goes into it. It's interesting. So I'll get these wrapped up, uh, take these wrappers off, and we'll get a battery and see, what, we'll see what's going on. Okay, so you probably see there I've got them both on charge now. So they are different batteries. So this one is uh, that came with the uh, combi drill and torch is a different battery, as in the style of it and design of it. I don't think the power output or anything is different and the uh, capacity is two amp power. Uh, the difference is, which is better, it's got an indicator on the front. So if you press that button, you can see how much charge is left in the battery, which is really good. My DeWalt ones don't do that, the ones I've got. Some other, other tools I've got do do it, some of, from um, from Aldi. So the, the one that came with the impact driver doesn't have that, doesn't have that button on the front, but the one that came with the combi does have that. So that is definitely a difference. Um, so yeah, so they're charging, they're the batteries. So I can, it's got some power in. So that's the torch. If you can see that's adjustable torch you can point can change that the angle of that sorry it's blind of the camera change the angle of that torch so you can sit it point it somewhere or you can point it up which is quite good quite useful uh probably for me just thinking straight away like in loft space i'll go up in loft do some work i'll take things up and down from loft that will be quite good for, the, for that um and i guess if you're just rooting around in your garage or your storage area or in like in, out in my workshop i've got so it's quite useful uh, just having the tool bag. I'll put some the stuff on top, uh, uh, control wise, torque adjustment uh, between hammer and drill, and then the, the gearbox between the, what different powers one and two. Um, obviously, a chuck just tightens a standard one, really. So I'll get into the battery. Again, you've got the hold, like we said before, for the screwdriver bit, or the drill bit, sorry. Um, and then you've got the LED light as well, which only stays on when you're drilling, which I don't think is amazing, to be honest with you, but at least there is a light on there. Some drills don't have lights. Um, and it does look pretty bright, to be fair. So yeah, pretty standard stuff. Um, I do have, obviously, the DeWalt combi drill, um, which is an 18-volt drill. Um, does me well. Not had a problem with it. 
this I'll just add to my uh, arsenal of uh, tools. Okay, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the, the stuff I got was the starter kits for the impact driver drill and the combi drill. Um, and Black Friday Ryo were doing an offer where you got a free second tool purchasing those. So I went for the orbital sander. So I did have an orbital sander. It was a wired one. It was from Wix, which I bought maybe eight years ago. Um, and it actually broke. The, bot the base plate broke. Um, and I couldn't get the base plate off to replace it when I was doing sanding the uh, beer pong table I made. So I'll put a link to that video up here just out of interest. But yeah, that, that broke then. So I have been needing one. So kind of use the opportunity of getting these to get a new orbital sander. So this comes bare, so it comes without a battery. So in the box you obviously get the tool. Uh, dust collector or sawdust. Saw does come with some uh, discs, some sanding discs, which is pretty cool. And an instruction manual. Okay, out of the box, first impressions. Uh, it's a nice design. It's got that uh, grip zone um, around this area here for your hand just to grip, which is pretty good. Obviously, I put a battery on. Decent bit of weight. I did find the previous orbital sander I had, the Wix one, was really heavy. Um, but it was a really, really effective sander, to be fair. Um, so this one has got a physical um, button, power buttons there, so I'll just quickly switch it on. Physical buttons. The, the thing I've noticed, which I didn't realise, it isn't um, speed adjust, you can't adjust the speed. Not that I can see anywhere. So it must be a sing single speed orbital sander, which for stuff I do isn't a problem. But I guess if you were, you know, doing more things that require different speeds, which they do for different types of sanding, then that is a downside. I certainly can't see it. There's nothing, I'm not, I don't think I'm being stupid. There's no, no just a, adjustable speed dial or anything. Okay, and the only, only other thing to mention with the orbital sander is it does come with the uh, dust extractor. Or the dust collector, sorry, saw dust collector, which just does push over that. Um, so yeah, it seems a pretty good size, pretty good weight. It's not too heavy, even with that battery on. Obviously, if you've got a bigger battery, it create more weight. But it's not tipping either way either. It's quite well balanced. Um, but I guess the proof is in the pudding, so we'll test it at some point. This is just an unboxing, just to see what it looks like. Um, I've obviously thought out the design pretty well with the battery fitting in there. Okay, last tool of the haul uh, is this palm sander. Um, so I do have a palm sander, again it's a wired one, it's quite old. Um, and it is a pain, the fact that it's wired. Um, so, that's everything. So this was the other three tool I got with the other starter set, um, which is this. So it's a standard palm sander with the, um, again it comes with um, a few uh, sanding plates, um, which is quite useful. Um, I f do really use my palm sander quite a lot if I've done cuts and I just need to give it a quick sand. Um, so later on, well, I trimmed like a door down, I need to give it a quick sand. So you could probably use the orbital sander for that, depending on the speed it goes at. But the palm sander, definitely just battery on and give it a quick sand. Okay, so just to show you, battery going in. Again, been designed pretty well to encase that battery just to blend into the into the, the sander. In terms of usability, it's got a good grip at the top. It's just got the on and off button again there. There's no adjustable speed dial on it, so I'll turn that on just quickly. So yeah, simple on and off, no adjustable adjustable dial. Okay, last thing on the uh, palm sander. I got a little bit hasty throwing that box away. I just noticed this rubber bit down here. And it's a little flap that opens up. Like that. And in the box, this adapter, which you can push into there. And obviously it's for uh, dust extraction. So you can fit a hose to that um, to extract any dust away. Um, so yeah. If I hadn't seen that, I'd have probably thrown that box and, not, and, uh, and lost that. But yeah, that's uh, quite good for dust extraction um, if you're doing a bit of a bigger job. 
Okay, so there we go. Everything's unboxed. Looking good. Pleased with it so far. Obviously, the main key, we're getting this impact drive, 18 volt impact driver. Um, everything's well boxed, well packaged, good instructions. Obviously, the one uh, Ryobi one battery system is really good. How it blends into the tool, the design of that was really good. Um, so, yeah, overall, pretty pleased. I guess, if anything, though, the proof is kind of in the pudding in terms of using the stuff. So, I'll start using these in, in stuff I'm doing in the house, in the workshop. See how they get and compared to my older DeWalt um, drills. Um, and then I'll probably do maybe like a three month review. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video. I'll pop any uh, product links in the description. I got them directly from Ryobi. Um, so obviously I think Ryobi do offers every now and again. As I mentioned right at the beginning of the video, I did get these via uh, Black Friday offers. Where we got the, paid for the starter kits and then got the free tools included. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Ryobi do offers throughout the year. Um, so yeah, if it's been a useful video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, if not, give it a dislike. Uh, any questions or comments about the video or anything I'm not covered about the tools, drop that into the comment section and uh, I'll reply to any questions in there. Okay, see you in the next one.